Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to solve this problem, beautiful matrix from code forces. Maybe I can safely assume that uh, you have already gone through the question. Okay, so let's cut the chase and let's start the video. Okay, you have got a five into five matrix. That means row is five and the column number is five. So five into five equal to 25. Definitely uh, we will get 25 index value here, right? So they have already told us that uh, it would con uh, consist of 24 zeros and a single number one. That means 24 plus one equal to 25. It perfectly matches the five into five matrix or five by five matrix. We can say that, right? So, uh, let's index the matrix rows by number from one to five from top to bottom, okay? Let's index the matrix column by number from uh, one to five from left to right, that's fine. So uh, the condition is in one move, we are allowed to apply one of the two following transformation to the matrix. Number one is we can swap two neighboring matrix rows, that is rows with indexes i and i plus one. That means uh, we can swap first row with the second row or first column with the second column, second column with the third column, third column with the fourth column and so on. And the second condition is we can also swap two, uh, two neighboring matrix columns. Okay. Uh, like before J and J plus one. Okay. So the fact here is we can uh, swap either mat uh, either the row or the column. And we can swap like this, i and i plus one or j and j plus one. I mean, sequentially, you can swap row or column one with two, two with three, three with four and so on. But you can't do this like that. Uh, I mean, you can't swap row number one with row number three or column number two with column number four or column number five and so on. That means we have to go through sequentially when uh, we are about to swapping the rows or columns, okay? Uh, you think that a matrix looks beautiful if the single number one of the matrix is located in its middle. In the cell that is on the intersection of the third row and the third column, count the minimum number of moves needed to make the matrix beautiful. Okay, let's head over to the example section and for input, we are getting that uh, this matrix definitely contains 25 values, 5 into 5 equal to 25, okay? And we can also see that uh, 24 of them consist of 0, pure 0, and only one of them is number 1. And we have to swap rows or columns in that manner by which we can arrange the matrix in that way uh, the site has called us to do so. Beautiful matrix. So how they did this? That's the question, right? Uh, okay. For the input number one, if we extract the matrix like this, row equal to one and column equal to one, that means it is the first row and this column is the first column. I mean, first row, second row, third row, fourth row, and fifth row. In the same manner, it would be the first column, second column, third column, fourth column, and the fifth column, okay? So the index position of this number one should be the second row and the fifth column, right? Because uh, one, is resides within the intersection of the second row and the fifth column. So we need to change the position of one from here to here, exactly in the middle of the matrix, right? Uh, you should notice it by now that wherever this one resides in, we have to make sure that we need to change its position from the other places to exactly this place, right? And this index position resides on third row and the third column because 
this is the index value uh, of 3 comma 3 which means row equal 3 and column equal 3 right you can see that it's on third row and a third column so the in uh, the intersection of the third row and third column should be 3 comma 3 right so if you want to change the pod position from here to here how many steps should we take minimum steps uh, well as they have said that we can only swap i equal i with i plus one and j with j plus one that means sequentially so we can do that uh, in incrementing one right like from here we can swap it to here then we can swap it to here and then if we swap the row value then we can get it here or you can do it other way too like from the fifth column to the fourth column from the fourth column to the third column and from the third column if we swap the full row from third column sorry from second row to the third row then we are getting one here right so how many steps we have taken to get here three steps uh, like for the last part what i did i swapped this fifth column with the fourth column one and then i swapped this fourth column with the third column two and after that the one should be from here to here right and after then what i did i simply swapped the second row with the third row and after all of this we are getting one from here to here three step that's why we can solve this task and for the second input our value one is already on the third row but on the second column right so if we want this one from here to here we need to swap this one from here to one here how can we do that uh it's very simple actually we can simply swap this entire column second column to the third column then we'll get one here from here three comma three right so how many steps we have taken only one okay now uh, let's go to our solve section i want to solve this using c plus plus so for that include ice cream using namespace std okay integer main i'm taking integer i uh, i will use i in for loop for taking the row and j uh, i will use this j in for loop for taking the column and i will also take n as a variable and i will initiate it as zero why zero because most of the values here will be zero only one value should be one that's the condition right only one value would be one and the other all of those we can say by default would be zero right so if we go through like this all of them are zero if we get one we have to shift uh, one from that place to that place where the index position should be three comma three row equal three and column equal three right so i'm using a for loop i equal to one i less equal five as uh, it contains five row okay and i plus plus and now for uh, taking the column j equal one j less equal five again and j plus plus y because you can see that uh, we have got five columns here okay and now uh, we'll take input and assign the input value to m okay now we'll check the condition if n equal equal one that means if we get the value of one what would we do we will swap row and column 
to get the value one from its previous position to three comma c right that means row c column c this index position which i have already described to you okay so now the question is how can we get that we can get this like this uh where console outing console out we need the absolute value of i minus 3 and the absolute value of j minus 3 how are we doing this or you can say why we are doing this like for this input you see uh here the value of i is 2 and value of j is equal to 5 and if we use this thing here what we would get let's see here i equals 2 and j equals 5 so the value of i minus 3 should be 2 minus 3 and the value of j minus 3 should be 5 minus 3 okay don't forget that we are taking the absolute value what should be the answer absolute value of 2 minus 3 that means uh, mod of minus 1 plus absolute value of 5 minus 3 should be 2 it should be 1 plus 2 equal to 3 as we have to make sure that we have to shift one from its previous position to that position where the index or position should be three comma three that means row equals three and column equals three right so only for that reason we are uh, using this we would subtract the row with three that means row minus three or uh, you can say i minus three as i have written here and we are also subtracting three from the column which is j minus three so in whatever position the one might be we are getting it to our desired location what is three comma three by this we are getting that position here three comma three and we are also getting the minimum steps uh, of how many steps we are using to get the exact output all right as the index position would never be negative definitely we are going to use the absolute value the absolute value would minimize all of the conflicts we might get here right so okay at the end of this we are using return zero so i'm going to copy this and if i submit the code here okay so thanks for watching this video if you like this kind of video and want to get updated each time i post a new video to my youtube channel uh, consider yourself giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel and also don't forget to hit the bell button okay one more thing i have uh, already provided the solution of mine from my github profile and the GitLab profile to the description box you can get the source code from there okay i'll see you in the next video thank you